Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Happy Sunday? Day Sunday? Yes. Happy Sunday to you. And I hope all is well with everybody who is watching this video. I love y'all, just so you know that. Just right off the gate, I love you. So this video, okay, as you can tell by the title, I was watching two of my very favorite YouTubers here on the YT. Um, Tamala with um, Halt on Design and Catherine from Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. Two awesome ladies. Awesome. They did a collab with each other because, you know, Tamala, I already know y'all probably know who they are. But Tamala is an interior decorator. So she's everywhere all over the place. She sees some of the best home decor a decorator could see. Honey, I probably would just pass out if I was with her. Anyway, they collabed together and created their version of a gold tree that Tamala seen in a, on a display, I guess, during one of her interior adventures or whatnot. When I seen the tree, honey, when I, when, when I saw the gold tree, the gold tree said to me through the camera, Sharon, Sharon, I need to be downstairs in your basement. That's what it said to me, okay? So I have taken it upon myself, and I hope they don't get offended by any means, but I have taken it upon myself because I was so freaking inspired by the uh, gold tree that I had to recreate it. Like, I needed that tree in my house, okay? So I have recreated my version of the gold tree, and if you're interested in how my tree turned out or where I put my tree, please, please keep on watching and let me know at the end, stay to the end, so, um, you can let me know what you think about my tree. I need it. I'm going to link those two videos, those two ladies. I'm going to link them down below in the description. If you ain't already seen it, go check it out because that's where it originated from. I just threw myself in the mix, honey, because that tree said, come home with me. Sharon, I need to be at your house. Not saying it don't need to be at Tamla and Catherine's house, but it needed to be over here too. So, I recreated it. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I will see you guys at the end of this video. Okay, so the only thing I'm going to be using to recreate my golden tree is, of course, tree branches, which I gladly walked down there and got. And I tried to find some of the most unique ones, and I've trimmed them off already, took up the leaves off, all that good stuff. And then I have a hacksaw. This piece of wood right here is my goal, to try and use this. It is pure solid wood. And as you can see, it has a very unique shape. I purchased this from Walmart for $2.75. I already had the hacksaw. I'm going to be using this drill, these uh, two and a half inch drywall screws, as well as some liquid nail. And then, oh, and I'm going to use this clothes hanger to kind of gather them together and hold them in place. So that's going to be the next step so those are all the materials that i'm going to try and use to recreate this look and i will be back with you as soon as i move on to the next step okay okay so so far this is what the tree is looking like this is what i've done to secure it to this board look at this the tree is not budging so what i've done is at the very base of the board, I've taken these two and a half. Oh, sorry, I mean, that's a stick. I've taken these two and a half inch drywall screws. I told you I love using these for building projects because the tread on them is sorry, y'all. The tread on them is so coarse and it just grips and holds on. So I've just basically drilled them around the very base of this pretty thick trunk right here to stabilize it so it's not moving now what i'm going to do is take the rest of these branches and probably end up screwing them into the bottom of the tree at least the bottom part and then when the weight of the branches begin to i'm not sure if it will or not but in the event the branches begin to get heavy and this wants to tilt that's when i'm going to use my clothes hanger to kind of group them together at the bottom and since this is going to be spray painted gold you really won't be able to tell when i get done with it okay 
So that's where I'm at right now. The tree is actually secured to a board, which I told you I got from Walmart for $2.75, and the trees were free, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and start putting the rest of these trees onto it. And if I get some assistance with this camera holding it, I'll let you guys see how I um, put them together on here once I, you know, get them placed how I want to, basically. So just stay tuned. Okay, so this is basically what I'm doing. You see this screw here? I'm just going to, let me turn it towards me a little bit. But I'm going to just basically screw this down into the wood as best I can. And you have to be really careful with this because it's like putting a freaking puzzle together, kind of, sort of. So I'm going to just give it a little beat with the hammer. Just kind of get it going in there. And I'm going to hold tight. See that? And that's what I'm going to do for the remainder of these sticks. I'm going to either drill them together or continue to drill them down into the uh, board because some of the trunks on them are pretty thick. So I'll come back when I get it kind of configured how I want to. Okay, I want the branches to look a certain way. So then I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Okay, so here's where I am in the process. I've got the main branches, the bigger branches, screwed in with these with these screws. I've already showed you that. Now I'm just using some regular craft wire in green, of course. And I'm just going to wrap. I'm just going to keep wrapping these to hold the remainder of them together. And because some of these branches are fairly heavy, Okay, and so is this um, base piece that I'm using here. And so I'm just going to just wrap, 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 wrap until I just feel like it's nice and secure. I'm even using that one, that screw there as an anchor. And I'm just going to keep wrapping this at the very base. And I'm going to come up about halfway with it. And then I'm going to go back and I'll show you what I add to cover all of this up before we begin the spray painting process. So then I'll return and show you that part, okay? Okay, so this is where we are with the tree right now, okay? I have used some very thin craft wire to just secure the branches together. I have them anchored into this board with those screws all the way around. You hear my grandkids in the background, I'm sorry. All the way around. And I think what I'm going to do here at the bottom is wrap some burlap. This burlap that I have here around it. Because since it's going to be spray painted gold anyway, and burlap is a natural element, It'll actually hide all of that for me. Plus, it's going to blend right in because it's going to be all gold. Okay, so we can go ahead and start that process right now of the actual spray painting, okay? Okay, okay. Now, our tree is completely adhered to the base. Pay no attention to that blue tape right there. <laughs> Here's the fun part. Got my spray paint in gold metallic. And I am just going to, I had already started doing a little sample. I'm just going to start spray painting her or him. And I'm really loving how the branches are so natural looking. I really took my time picking out the perfect branches and trees. So I'm just going to go ahead and complete this part of it. I think this part is pretty self-explanatory as far as spray painting goes. I'm even going to spray paint the base here and all this burlap. That tape is going to come off. I'm going to actually hot glue that little piece together or whatever. And it's probably, if I would guess in my spray painting time, I would probably guess that it's probably going to take well over two full cans of this paint just because you're wasting a lot of it because you're just spraying these little tiny branches and you're trying to get every piece of it so you're wasting lots of spray paint basically in the process so it's probably going to take me two cans 
um, to get it fully covered with a good, good coat of gold and getting in between those crevices. But as you can see, it's coming along just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and finish spray painting it and letting it dry in between the second go round of spray paint. Um, and then I'll come back and show you guys the finished look but look at it so far oh my god I'm in the shade so you really can't see it that good but you get the idea you get the idea right and then of course you know I'm gonna add a little some extra to it so in the meantime you guys I'll be back when I put after the second coat I guess actually completely dries and we'll work on the addition together, of course. So stay tuned. Okay guys, now that you've seen the tree and the different placements that I put it, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm definitely, gonna, like I said, I'm going to leave those two ladies links down below so that you can go check them out. I do believe Tamala was the one who inspired or who collabed with Catherine. So it was Tamala's idea of the interior decorator lady. Shout out to you, hun, because you be doing some bomb work. Okay, I want to be like you when I grow up. Okay, ladies. And gentlemen, I love y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, you know I got some more DIYs coming up for you this week. And hugs and kisses. I hope you are in a good place. You better not be letting anybody dictate your mood. Okay? And I'm sure they wouldn't mind if you wanted to recreate one of the tree for yourself. I'm sure they wouldn't care. They don't care. They inspire us. That's why we're here. To inspire and share. And that's what they did in that. I, look, hey. Y'all see that tree downstairs? People going to want to know, Sharon, where you get that tree from? I ain't telling. Okay, y'all. I love y'all. I will see you guys in another video. Hugs and kisses. Mm -hmm. See you next time. Bye, guys.